Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter uh, with your basic Sorgonomics here. And uh, today I want to talk about Wallapop. Okay, not just Wallapop, but there's a lot of other things as well. Um, actually, a, a combination. The general idea I want to talk about, about today is lowering, <clears throat> excuse me, lowering the barrier. Um, we talked about that before, lowering the barrier on technology, lowering the barrier on accessibility, on the access to your products, on, on, on things like that. Um, and and I was uh, kind of fascinated by something that popped up at the Super Bowl uh, that really led me down a rabbit hole. It's called Wallapop, and it's kind of an app, Pinterest-y looking app that you can get for, I believe, both iPhone and Android. And uh, you, we've talked about this on the Awesome Cast in the, in the weeks back. Uh, but you get on here and you take a picture of uh, something you want to get rid of. Like, maybe I want to get rid of this uh, uh, Horton Here's a Who DVD. So I pull up the app. And I take a picture of it, and I say, "I want five bucks for that DVD," and uh, and uh, and it's up there, and it's kind of like a more visual Craigslist, right? Uh, and then and then, which led me right into you know the person right beside me saying, "Oh, that's like that Let Go app," and I'm like, "Oh, what what's this?" So I started looking at that as well, and then also noticing that there's a, uh, I know uh, I think these are popping up for a lot of areas, but for us uh, here, I'm at Beachview. In Pittsburgh, and there's a South Hills uh, kind of yard sale and free for hauling um, um, Facebook group. So I I am in desperate need of decluttering my life. Yes, very much so. I got lots of stuff. I'd rather get rid of a lot of stuff. I'm wary on taking my stuff to Goodwill. I'd rather take. I, I'd like to make a couple bucks off of it, but I I'm not. I, I, you know, geez, uh, I'm, a, I'm a business owner. I don't have time to take gather everything up and go to the flea market and run into Virgil, you know, like back in the day. Um, you know, I, I just, you know, need to get just to get rid of this stuff. And and the idea that there's an app, you know, I, I'm like, oh, I could put stuff on Craigslist, right? I just never got to Craigslist. Just keep, keep sitting on it. Just I've never put anything on Craigslist. It just seems like a burdensome process. Probably I don't know. Because I never got to it. Um, because, I mean, look at Craigslist. It's not very welcoming, right? Versus then I got this app. Then I got an app for that. And it is a matter of, I took a picture of the object. In this case, we're getting rid of some of our old um, air conditioner units. We're, we're hoping to upgrade uh, here for this next summer. So we're going to go and, you know, get rid of them. And I'm just like, well, I don't know, 20 bucks seems to make sense. They, they, they need a lot of cleaning, basically, to them. Um, which I'm not willing to do, and uh, let's 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 get these out. Let's make these somebody else's problem and make a couple bucks off of it. So I threw uh, a couple of the AC units on there for like twenty bucks a piece. I got a home gym. I just want out of here. Seriously, if there's anybody local to Beachview area that wants a home gym that's not in the greatest of shape, but you can probably get going something with it and get your get your pump on. Um, I'm not doing that, and I want it out of my basement right now. Uh, so please contact me at Sorgatron on Twitter. Uh, but I threw it up there and already had somebody at least asking questions about it. Um, and it was really interesting. Again, lowering that barrier. It is easy for me to get rid of my junk, right? I don't need to go anywhere. I have a box of Goodwill stuff. I even take down the Goodwill because I just like I just don't want to give this away. And now the more I understand, like it's questionable what exactly that money, that thing that I gave away to Goodwill actually goes to. That that's a little troubling to me. So I'd rather do something like this. Maybe have a pile of stuff in the corner and say, okay, that's the stuff we're selling. Maybe I threw a bunch of it on, on the swallow pop or something. And then as we go, you know, maybe I make a couple bucks off of this stuff, right? Maybe, maybe, you know, it, it does get reused, you know, rather than thrown in the trash. You know, because I had I just you know, I don't know if it's a guilt factor. I just don't like throwing things in the trash, you know, and uh, even the computer stuff. It, it has to go. And, and I'm not sure. If the, I think the program got discontinued, but they used to have a great program through eLoop at Construction Junction, Junction, Construction Junction ha, out there, uh, the other side of town. I was like, OK, at least they're getting reused. And then I discovered somebody else who just takes stuff and repurposes them. So I might have to kick stuff their way too. But anyways, but anyways, um, but no, it's, it's, a. Uh but it lowers that barrier, this, this wall of pop, this let go app. Uh, and, and so I took a couple of things and I actually put them on, on, you know, all three, the wall of pop, let go and the, and the, and the Facebook kind of local group app. Um, I have gotten comments on the, uh, Facebook group. Wallapop has been mostly silent. 
I thought they'd have a little more going on since they just had their big bad Super Bowl ad. And um, and I see a lot of stuff locally. Um, I, I'm noticing for both this and Let Go, um, this may be the place for me to keep an eye out for um, electronics and video games. I'm noticing a lot of Android phones on here for a pretty cheap, and and I'm considering like just having like kind of a backup older Android phone to play with. And maybe do you know Google Cardboard or whatnot, and and and, and something like that. Uh, so people selling those, but you have to be wary about phones, of course. A lot of old game consoles like PS3s, PS2s. Hey, there's my home gym on the hot list. Oh, there it is. I hope somebody takes it. Um, you know, stuff like that. It's it's uh it, it's been very interesting. But the biggest response I've had is the Let Go app. And now I I think this is I think it's going to vary depending on where you're at. If you're middle you're in the middle of nowhere. I don't think you're going to have much luck at this. Uh, if you're in certain neighborhoods versus others, maybe the wall pop is really popular in your area. Um, and that, that adoption, that massive adoption has to be there for this to work, I think. Um, and, and, and so far, I've had uh, at least three people inquiring. Uh, one, one, uh, do, do, do. one asking the BTUs of the unit, and it was too small. It's about 6,000, 5,000, 6,000. Uh, BTU units that I have on hand right now, um, and one that's gonna be here in a few hours, and they're gonna pick it up and hand me twenty bucks, hopefully. You know, I mean, it it, it went through, it happened, and uh, because of a little app, you know, and that I took a picture and said, "Hey, I'd like twenty bucks for this thing, please. Would you like to take it off of my hands?" And there we are, um, lowering that barrier entry, getting stuff out of my house. I want to see what this experience is like here. I'm probably going to continue to take care, take pictures of stuff I want out of my house and hopefully see where it goes from there. Um, and again, when you're talking about uh, what you're doing, if you're uh, uh, trying to make something, if you're trying to do a blog, if you're trying to do something else, you have to make it easy for you to come in. These guys have figured that out. You know, you t take a picture, put a price, we're good to go. They, they're, they're not handling the money, which makes me wonder what their model is a little bit, but they're not handling the money. It's not like you're signing up with credit card, a bank account with these guys. They just facilitate that little bit. It's not eBay. It's not the other things. eBay is another option that I just don't bother getting to. And, um, you know, again, it, it was cumbersome. I tried selling some uh, wrestling DVDs through there and, and the fee was way too much to be worthwhile. And so we kind of passed on something like that. So, um, it's been really intriguing. It's been really intriguing to see uh, what that response is and kind of a little bit of a A-B testing when it comes to those apps. So let me know. What, what what keeps you from doing something? What keeps you from maybe selling that junk in your house like I've been having a problem with? What keeps you uh, from... Uh, keep what keeps you from from checking out a podcast what keeps you from checking out that blog what kept, keeps you from doing that service uh, uh, uh checking out that local restaurant that you want to what, what are the barriers of entry that that maybe are, are are getting in your way for me i'd love to shop local but my local uh corner store um was is 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 well he's a dick okay and there's a barrier of entry and i'm not going to shop local at the time that was the only store that was here period. That's changed. Now I have options. And now I wonder how his business is doing. Um, so let me know at Sorgatron on Twitter. Please sign up for things. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.